The delay consumption of ARV pills among HIV AIDS victims is yet to be replaced with the injectable long acting cabotegravil and rupivirine drugs that were licensed in the USA and Europe in 2020. Are the same as these injectable drugs? Joint Clinical Research Center, an organization that has led in the treatment for HIV AIDS and opportunistic infections in Uganda and Africa at large for the past 27 years, is into a clinical trial study to ensure that the drugs being researched about work effectively well. Where we have reached in terms of advances in treatment, it has come from research. Produce the results, we share them with our government. We share, WHO knows this study is happening and they will be waiting to see these results. Experts highlight about the advances of HIV treatment using pills and injections will eliminate the untimely omission of prescriptions and relieve patients of the fatigue and stigma. With pills, as I said, they are good and they are working. And many people are on pills and they are survived and they are living a very healthy life. But the major challenge with the injectable is that uh, you overcome these challenges of, oh, I forgot my, to take my pill. So this is lifelong. And so this is an option for people to relieve them of this fatigue. And for children, there is a lot of stigma when they go to school and they have to take their pills. But if they had an injection, they could take it at the beginning of the term. According to the clinical trial team, the study is to be conducted on health and sounding participants of 18 years and above to start with the oral form of cabotegravil and rupivirine drugs. In January next year, we will do a similar study but with adolescents going down to the age of 18, 12, yeah, going down to the age of 12. So, uh, you know, they start these studies with adults before you touch children. Should be an adult? Um, participant who is 18 years and above to participate in the study and then uh, should be uh, healthy as uh, much as they are HIV positive as long as they have suppressed viral load, they don't have any um, clinical diagnosis of uh, advanced stage of a a HIV. However, Dr. William Tamale warns the public not to visit the Joint Clinic Research Center for the injections as they are not readily available since they are still under clinical trial. Saying that the injection is here and available at JCRC, we are only undergoing a clinical trial. Therefore, uh, this shouldn't, uh, you know, make you come the next day for an injection. I know the some of you can come to the clinic managers. If the study is accomplished and confirmed by World Health Organization to be administered among Ugandans, the injection will last for two months and will ease the burden of daily pills. According to a 2018 survey, an estimated 1.4 million people were living with HIV and an estimated 23,000 Ugandans died of AIDS-related illnesses. The estimated HIV prevalence amongst adults aged between 15 to 49 years stood at 5.7 percent with 8.8 percent of adult women living with HIV compared to 4.3 percent of men. Other groups particularly affected by HIV in Uganda are sex workers, young girls and adolescent women, people who injected drugs, among others. Hi, Ivan Juko, UBC News. Okay. Okay.